Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I would like to start with the testimony which I wanted to share. The Lord turns our mourning into dancing. Amen. How many of you can say that he has turned our mourning into dancing? Yes, sorrow may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning because Jesus Christ, the joy giver, is with us. And he will turn every sorrow, every morning into dancing, into joy, joy unspeakable and full of glory. I remember when I came first time, 20th June 2006, I came to Kuwait first time. I didn't have any relative. I didn't know any friends. I didn't know anything about Kuwait. The Kuwaiti owner of the company had come to Bombay and he had taken the interview. And by Jesus' grace, he, has, he had selected me, although I didn't have that kind of experience and so on. But Jesus' favor had selected me. When I came here and when I started going to the office, I realized that my company where I have joined, it has two shifts, 8.30 to 1, then 4.30 to 9. And after one month, the company stopped the transportation. And it was July. The full hot sun was there. And from 4 o'clock, I have to stand on the bus stop for waiting for bus. And the bus will come and will the nearest bus stop will be opposite to the Sultan Center. And I have to climb the bridge and 10 minutes walk. 4 o'clock in the afternoon, you can imagine. I used to imagine. Cry, Lord, where you are brought? Before that, I was in Gandhinagar, Gujarat. Oh, it was so peaceful. Jesus had blessed me and used me among the Gujaratis and the local people there. I was crying, Lord, where you have brought me? See, I am suffering. And this timing, 8.30 to 1 and 4.30 to 9, I am unable to go for any prayer meeting. We had six days. Only Friday was off. So most of the time, morning 8 to night 8 o'clock, I used to attend different churches in the NECK campus and used to cry, Lord, in the weekdays, I am not able to attend. I used to remember in Gandhinagar, Gujarat, the Lord had done a marvelous thing. Every day after coming from the office, 6.30, 7 o'clock I will be coming. And there will be some prayer meeting in some of the IS offices, bungalow, or some of the Gujaratis believer houses. And I used to go every day. And praise God, it was a blessing. They used to enjoy the prayers. They enjoy, used to enjoy the testimonies and the messages, whatever I used to share. And it was a mutual uh, our love and we used to share. But here when I came, I used to cry, Lord, where I have come? You have brought me here. I didn't have any qualification. I have, didn't have any relatives here. But you alone have brought. And I am now I'm not able to attend any prayer meeting, Lord. And I used to cry every day, cry every day. The Lord hears the cry of the brokenhearted. Psalms 22 verse 24 says, he never despises the cry of a broken heart. The affliction of the afflicted, he never despises. The, uh, the company was 10 years old and the same timing was followed. But after six months, in a miraculous way, they recruited one general manager who was working in Sumu, Sumitomo company in Kuwait. And uh, he had gone back to India. He, again, they brought him. And he had put a condition that I want the company timing to be changed. So praise God, my Kuwaiti owner of the company, oh, they are so rock hard hearted, you might be knowing. It's very difficult to change their feeling, change their thoughts and their decision. But the Lord is mighty. He can bring waters, waters from the rock, honey from the rock. And he did that miracle. Six months in December, I got the company timing was changed. 8 to 1, 3 to 7. So after 7 o'clock, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Then I was working in uh, Badr Mullah. It was 8 to 5. And uh, then I was looking for a new job. And the present job, Lord, is so good. Jesus is so good. He gave me 7.30 to 4, five days a week. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. 7.30 to 4. And five days a week, Friday, Saturday, holiday. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. 
Beloved, you might be going through some affliction. You must be crying, why I'm suffering? Why I'm afflicted? But your days, the days of your sorrow are for only for some time. Only for some time. You will come out with joy. You will come out with testimony. Your test, your trials will be turned into testimony by the great Jesus, by the powerful Jesus, by the turner of the water, bitter water into sweet. He can turn your bitter situation into sweet situation. Therefore, cheer up my brother. Cheer up my sister. Jesus, the turner of your sorrow into joy. The turner of your bitterness into joy, into sweetness is here. Is here. He's listening to every whisper of your heart. Whatever desire you have, tell him. Bible says in Proverbs chapter 10 verse 24, the desire of the righteous shall be granted. I want to thank the people and Sister Madna, Pastor Gilbert for prayers. They, their prayers upheld me really and it was very critical within two months I have to search for a job and it was really and this job was only on 29th and, and in an amazing way the person called that we saw your profile in some nokrigulf.com and this is there is a very urgent position I told yes within a week I will be joining a new company so I'm also very means uh, immediate I'm ready for any uh, new placement so they uh, placed me and uh, two days before as I was going uh, from my company to uh, KOC one of my uh, subordinates he came he said I will also want to come to KOC I said come and in my car I have a beautiful big size golden cross so he asked me from where you got uh, this cross whether from India or from Kuwait I said from Kuwait only I purchased then he said uh, that uh, he too is a born again Christian I was surprised and uh, he was also telling that he doesn't know that Kuwaiti, how his resume reached him and how he called him for an interview and selected. So around two, three persons are uh, believers there. I want to thank the Lord that how the Lord makes that those Kuwaitis to choose only select believers, <laughs> those who are doing the gospel work. Praise God. Although he's a Kuwaiti, he doesn't know much about the Lord, but the Lord makes him to select those people who are born again children of his. I thank, want to thank the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today, beloved, let us meditate as the world celebrate this day as a Pentecost Sunday. We shall uh, meditate on the blessings that we receive from the Holy Spirit. When the, on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit was poured was poured the promise of the father was given in this earth the holy spirit was poured we will see acts chapter 2 verse uh, 1 2 3 when the day of pentecost had fully come they were all with one accord in one place and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled the whole house where they were sitting and there appeared to them Divided tongues as of fire, and one sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. In the further verses, we see the people from all the world, nations were there, Cretans, Arabs were also there, and they were amazed. 11 verse say, Cretans and Arabs, we hear them speaking in our own tongues. The wonderful works of God. The power of the Pentecost. Oh, like a mighty rushing wind it came. And the disciples who were filled with fear, sitting with a broken heart, sitting with depression. Oh, our master has departed from us. Who will take care of us? We are like orphans. They were crying, weeping, having fear in their heart. But the power of the Holy Spirit came. The power of the Holy Spirit came. And they began feeling the joy. The power of the Holy Spirit. Who is the Holy Spirit? Who is the Holy Spirit? In simple, very, very simple 
uh, terms, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17 says, Who is that Holy Spirit? Who is that Holy Spirit? 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17 says, Now, the Lord is the Spirit. And where the Spirit of Lord is, there is liberty. Lord is that Spirit. The Lord is the Spirit. The Lord is the Spirit. Jesus said in John chapter 14 verse 18, I will not leave you comfortless. Comfortless. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. I will come to you. And here we say, see the Holy Spirit. The Lord is that Spirit. The Lord Jesus came upon his disciples. Upon his children on the day of Pentecost. So that they can feel the presence of God. Presence of Jesus. The powerful presence. The comforting presence. The sweet presence of Jesus. They can feel 24 hours a day. My brother, my sister, do you say I am weak? I feel weak when I go for office, when I go to home, I feel weak in my mind, in my body. The Lord Jesus has promised in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit shall come upon you. And you shall be my witness among the all the ends of the earth. You shall receive power. You shall receive power. Therefore, cheer up my brother. Cheer up my sister. The Holy Spirit is given to give us the power. To give us the power. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 29 says, Oh, the Lord is oh wonderful. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 29 says, He gives power to the weak and to those who have no might. He increases strength. Cheer up my brother, you have a God who is full of love, full of compassion, full of power, who wants to strengthen you, strengthen you. Psalms 29 verse 11 says, the Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace, with peace, and he will increase your strength. Therefore, cheer up my brother, cheer up my sister, and we see this during the days of the creation the holy spirit was there the lord was there if we read genesis chapter 1 verse 2 says genesis chapter 1 verse 2 the earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep and the spirit of god was hovering over the face of the water the earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Why, beloved? Why, beloved? Because to make a new creation, new creation, the beautiful world, the beautiful sky, the beautiful moon, the planets, the stars, the birds, animals. Oh, the Spirit of God was hovering to make new. In Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19 says, Oh, the Lord says, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19, Behold, behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you know, not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and reverse in the desert. Reverse in the desert. Yes, he will give you a new job, new house, new car. Really the wonderful Lord is great. I joined this company. I never expected I will get a new car. The Lord gave me 2012 new Toyota Corolla car. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Beloved, therefore, you will also experience new things in your life. New job, new house, new car. Oh, new business openings, new thoughts of business will be planted by the almighty Jesus in your heart. In your heart and that power is available to you. Because of the day of Pentecost when the Holy Spirit was poured. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Power, power, power. Power fell on me. Power, power, power. Power fell on me. On the day of Pentecost. Power fell on me. On the day of Pentecost. Fire fell on me, fire, 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 fire fell on me, 
fire, 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 fire fell on me on the day of Pentecost. Fire fell on me on the day of Pentecost. Fire fell on me. Fire, fire, fire. Lord Jesus, fill everyone with your power this night as your children have come, Lord. Fill them with your power. Let them experience the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We shall see another blessings that we receive from the Holy Spirit. That is, he is the spirit of burning. If we read Isaiah chapter, 40, chapter 4, verse 4, there it says, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of burning burning. He will burn every weakness. Probably you are sitting with a bondage. You get angry very often. Very frequently you get angry. You might be oh, having some bad habits of smoking, drinking, eating gutka, pan parag, supari. Jesus Christ, through his Holy Spirit, can burn that evil desire. Can burn that is evil desire. The desire of drinking. The desire of smoking. The desire of chewing gutka, supari. That will be burned by the Holy Spirit. Because he is the spirit of burning. He is the spirit of burning. He will burn every bad habits. He will burn every root of sin from your life. From your life, just tell him, Lord, I need deliverance. Oh, Holy Spirit, come upon me. Burn every weakness, every infirmity. He will burn it. He will burn it. He will burn it and sanctify you and make you holy. Every drinking habit, every smoking habit shall depart in the name of Jesus. You will never feel to drink. You will never feel to smoke because Jesus Christ came to set you free to set you on fire he came another blessing we receive from the holy spirit when you say in this world i don't have any help i don't have any vasta i don't have anybody so that he can oh, plead for me he can oh, present my case for me the holy spirit says my son my daughter i am your helper i am your helper i will help you john 14 verse 16 says the Holy Spirit is that helper. He will help you. He will help you in the time of your trouble, in your time of problems, in the time of sorrow. The Holy Spirit will help you. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 says, Fear not. Fear not. I am with you. I will help you. I will strengthen you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. He will help you. He will strengthen do you say, my brother? Do you say, my sister? I don't have any comfort. I don't have comfort in this world. I am so sorrowful. I am full of pain. I am full of bitterness. I am full of agony. The Holy Spirit is the comforter. John chapter 14 verse 26 says, He is the comforter. Holy Spirit is the comforter. God is Father of mercy and God of all comfort. Jesus Christ is the God oh, full of compassion and full of comfort. He will comfort you through the Holy Spirit. Isaiah chapter 28 verse 2 says, Isaiah chapter 28 verse 2 says, Behold, the Lord has a mighty and strong one like a tempest of hail and a destroying storm, like a flood of mighty waters overflowing. Yes, beloved, that is the Holy Spirit. That is the Holy Spirit. And in the same chapter, verse 11 and verse 12 says, For with stammering lips and another tongue, and he will speak to this people, to whom he said, This is the rest with which you may cause the weary to rest. My brother, my sister, are you burdened? The Holy Spirit is the rest giver. When you pray in tongues, when you pray in the Holy Spirit, supernatural peace, supernatural strength deposits in your life, in your heart, because this is the rest which, with which you may cause the weary to the rest. And this is the refreshing, 
Cheer up my brother. You have a helper. You have a comforter. Oh, you are, you are having the one who makes everything new for you. New for you. He is your helper. He is your comforter. And Lord Jesus Christ is that spirit. And the free gift of Holy Spirit is available to you right now this moment. If you cry, Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Baptize me with your Holy Spirit. I need the power. I am tired of this life, of this dry and weak Christian life. I need your power, the power of the Pentecost. The Lord Jesus Christ will fill you, will fill you right now. The tongues of fire, the tongues of fire, the tongues of fire will appear will appear and you will start speaking, praising the Lord in an unknown language. You might not be knowing Arabic. You might not be knowing Spanish. But the Holy Spirit will make you to speak Arabic, to speak Spanish because he has that supernatural power. Give him praise. Give him glory because he is good. He is powerful and he wants to give you that power. Beloved, another blessings we receive from the Holy Spirit is found in Isaiah chapter 59 verse 19. In this world, we, have, we will have tribulation. We will have our enemies. We will have those jealous people, those, those who don't like us, who will always try to pull us down in your offices, in your neighborhood, in your families. There will be always those kind of people. Therefore, the Lord knows and he has promised in Isaiah chapter 59, verse 19, a very powerful, wonderful verse. It says, Isaiah chapter 59, verse 19, when the enemies comes like a flood, the spirit of God will lift up a standard against him. When the enemy comes like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. Beloved, my brother, my sister, you have a divine fighter for you. He will fight for your battle. He will fight for your life. He will fight for your blessing. Therefore, cheer up. Say, thank you, Jesus, because I'm not going to fight my battle. I'm not going to fight my enemies all alone. You are my fighter. You will fight for me. You will fight for me. I always remember, I cannot forget the... Uh, one testimony I heard from my mother. My mother was a principal in higher secondary school of Bhilai Steel Plant. That is a steel plant under, coming under Steel Authority of India Limited. That is a government company. And my mother was principal there. And she had a staff of 60 and around 2,000 students were there studying. So my mother uh, is a very strict administrator. So she used to... Uh, keep a very watchful eyes on the teachers and the students after every period, whether the teacher has gone to take the period on time or not. But the government school, the teachers will be very lazy and they will be chit-chatting. Even the 11 o'clock, the st uh, uh, period has started, they will be sitting 11, 5, 11, 10, chit-chatting in the staff room. They won't go and the whole class will be empty and the children will be talking, making shouts and noises like that. My mother will go and round and will scold uh, those teachers that will be chit-chatting sitting. Why are you are sitting here? Go to the class like that. She will scold. One of the teacher once uh, she scolded and that teacher happened to be a relative of a union leader. You know in the government enterprise unions are there. Uh, labor unions are there. So that teacher was a relative of the union leader and she got very upset and she complained to that uh, union leader that uh, that principal, Madam, Madam Massey has scolded me today very badly and I am hurt and uh, I don't want to go to school like that. She complained and uh, uh, this, she did the very agitating uh, deeds and uh, then the union leader called my mother and said, tomorrow I am coming. Tomorrow I am coming to your office, 10 o'clock, and I will initiate a strike in your school. I will make all the teachers not to go to the classroom to teach, but they will shout slogans against you. My mother was terribly afraid. What will happen? That is a very prime position, being a principal of a Bilai Steel plant, uh, high secondary school, uh, principal is a very prime position and my mother was troubled, deeply troubled. 
she just cried to jesus jesus i don't have anybody even the top management will not defend me because they will keep their oh a oh, favor on the union leaders because they will be afraid they will do something strike and so on so that will be published in the newspaper in the newspaper it will be reported that the strike has happened in that school oh say i am facing that shameful situation i don't have anybody to help me she cried and cried she cried and cried next day came morning my mother went 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock that union leader had told i am coming to your office and make all the teachers to initiate strike my mother started crying praying she started speaking in tongues 10 o'clock came the union man leader came and sat in front of her he was seeing her face and she was speaking in Romans chapter 8 verse 28 says beautiful verse Romans chapter 8 verse 26 likewise the spirit also helps in our weakness for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought but the spirit himself make intercession for us with groanings with groanings with groanings which cannot be uttered she was praying in the holy ghost holy spirit and that union leader a hindu man full of fury full of anger was sitting she speak she didn't open her mouth she was just speaking in tongues the holy spirit was interceding for her with groanings which cannot be uttered holy spirit the helper the comforter the defender the fighter was was interceding for her Five minutes gone, ten minutes gone, fifteen minutes gone. The union leader couldn't open his mouth, couldn't say any single word, couldn't say any single word, couldn't speak any single word, and he just came out and left. He just came out and left. My mother was thanking, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you for the helper. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the comfort. Thank you for the fight of my battle. When the enemy shall come like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall oh will lift a standard against him. He couldn't speak. He just went outside. What happened? The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Power, your fighter, made his mouth to be closed. to be closed he couldn't open my mother was expecting shame it the strike will happen the teacher will do a strike all the 60 teachers the newspaper will have reports all over the bhilai township everybody will know the name her